Welcome to another Design Spark unboxing video. My name is Camilla Lehmet, bringing you the latest electronics products from major brands in the semiconductor industry. Today I have RL78 G23 fast prototyping board from Renaissance Electronics. This board has been specifically designed to evaluate a new generation of RL78 general purpose microcontrollers. In this video, as usual, I'm gonna unbox one of these boards. I'm gonna walk you through the main components and features of the board, as well as I'll discuss some of the potential applications for RL78 G23 microcontrollers. Before I get into specifics of the board, let's discuss some of the reasons why you should consider RL78 M23 for your next design. First of all, RL78 G23 microcontrollers demonstrate enhanced power performance as compared to previous generations of RL78 microcontrollers. There are several contributing factors to that, such as a new optimized semiconductor process technology which reduces the power consumption, as well as a new snooze mode sequencer or SMS function that has been added. This function allows to access the peripherals, run the processes while the CPU is still sleeping. This in turn helps to reduce overall power consumption. Another reason why you might consider RL78 G23 is that it's not only compatible with existing RL78 microcontrollers, but also has scalability options from 30 pin to up to 128 pins. In addition, the RL78 G23 integrates some of the advanced security functions as well as capacitive touch sensing. This and other features we've recently dis discussed in Ask the Expert episode with product manager from Rinsas Electronics. So head out to Design Spark right after you finish watching this video. All right, now it's time to open the kit. The board comes in ESD pack like this. So obviously the focus of this board is RL78 G23 MCU with operating speed of 32 megahertz. The version here is 64 pin and comes in LFQFP package with 128 kilobyte of ROM, 16 kilobyte of RAM, and 8 kilobyte of flash. You can access the pins on the MCU through MCU headers as shown. The board also features an FTDI chip that allows implementing USB to serial UART interface and uh, you can connect USB cable to simply start writing a program and debugging the microcontroller. You can also use the USB port to power a device, but there is also a DC jack as an option. The footprint you see here is actually for a connector to be able to connect E2 emulator, which can perform which can be used to perform advanced debugging of the microcontroller. And lastly, the board supports Arduino Uno and Groove interfaces. Other than that, you've got a couple of switches, you've got LEDs. Yeah, this is what the board looks like. And this is from the other side. To get started, simply connect your target board to the PC with a USB cable and you can use tools such as eSquare Studio that can be downloaded directly from Renesas website. Another tool that can be useful is called Smart Configurator and it's a plugin for eSquare Studio which can help with things like setting up the pins, importing middleware as well as generating driver code. RL78 G23, being general purpose microcontroller, obviously has multiple applications. Those could include home automation, 
um, industrial automation, white goods, consumer electronics, and much more. But we, we want to specifically highlight that this board is probably ideal for IoT design because you have the lower power consumption, low cost, the integration of uh, security features, as well as some of the uh, human interface, uh, the possibility to implement human interface features with capacitive touch sensing. And uh, all of that makes this board a really good option, really good component to build uh, your IoT system around. With that, I'm gonna finish today's video here. We have a whole playlist of um, Design Spark unboxing videos, which you can find by clicking the link up here or in the description down below. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to Design Spark channel. My name is Camila and I'll see you next time. Bye!